Welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm Shobhit Bhutani, Product Marketing Manager at VMware, and I'm the VMware Gen AI and GPU lead. Uh, in this position uh, at VMware, I do messaging and positioning of AI ML, uh, GPUs, and also vSphere. Um, in this series, we bring VMware and partner experts to discuss, to discuss VMware's vSphere and cloud products. Um, you know, wonderful people like Justin here, who's on today. He also shares his background and industry trends and just cool stuff that people want to know about uh, uh, IT trends in general. So like I gave a hint like right before in the introduction, really excited to bring back Justin here uh, in today's episode. He's been here with me several times. Justin is the product marketing engineer here at VMware and leads uh, a lot of the technical uh, detail, et cetera, for AIML and wonderful stuff. So. Uh, Justin, welcome. Really excited to have you on, man. Thank you, Shobit. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Good to talk Fantastic. to you. Wonderful. So Justin uh, does a lot of the detailed technical work, producing demos and technical, you know, how-to guides and demos and, you know, blogs, etc. So he's my partner in arms in this wonderful AI jump journey we've been on together for the last three years almost. So really excited to have you, man. Good, so, good to be here. Now, Justin, you know, we recently did the general availability announcement for VMware Private AI Foundation with NVIDIA. Um, I would just, just jump in real quick into what that platform looks like for the audience. And then let's talk about that for a sec. Uh, so Justin, uh, this platform is what we announced. Uh, you know, we went to initial availability in March, then, you know, recently went into general availability announcement. Um, you know, we have a private AI foundation with NVIDIA unlocks Gen AI and unleashes productivity for enterprises, right? All the challenges AI uh, that enterprise face today in take getting Gen AI launched uh, and, you know, really opening up doors for productivity. That's kind of like the big announcement and the big value of this platform. Uh, but, you know, as a technical guard on this, on this journey with me, do you mind just kind of explaining the overall kind of how, what the platform does and, you know, focusing on some of the capabilities? Because today, it's, today for the audience's knowledge, we're focusing more on the capabilities and the technical details. And Jeff, Justin is going to do a phenomenal uh, demo here shortly as well. Sure. Thank you, Shobit. Yeah, the, this is very exciting that we launched this uh, into general availability now. And congratulations to you and all the work you've done on this. Um, Same to you, this man. <laughs> Thank you. The The platform is multi-tiered, as you see here. There, there's a hardware tier at the bottom. There is the foundational technology called VMware Cloud Foundation and NVIDIA AI Enterprise. Um, these are absolutely the scalable parts of the of the overall solution. And above them is a blue layer that I'll get into in more detail in the demo, uh, which is composed of infrastructure components, if you like, that make the world of Gen AI more easily deployable onto VMware Cloud Foundation. And those are deep learning VMs, vector databases, catalog setup wizard automation, and GPU monitoring. And we'll get into those in some detail. Let me say a very a quick word about the top layer though, that, that that layer comes from NVIDIA in their NVIDIA AI enterprise. And two very important components of that are Nemo inference microservice or NVIDIA inference microservice on the top left, uh, familiarly called NIM now. And this is a, a runtime for models, uh, a very scalable runtime for models. Uh, but in a lot of designs that we're going to be seeing, you're going to use these things called retrievers. And this is for retrieving data from vector databases to give to the model. And we'll get into that a little bit more. On the right-hand side, you see the traditional operators that fit, fit this application onto Kubernetes. So there's a RAG operator and a GPU operator that help you deploy both drivers and RAG components, retrieval augmented generation, that is, components onto Kubernetes. And at the top layer, you see the openness of both of our companies to models. Uh, there are NVIDIA foundation models, there are NVIDIA fine-tuned models, even fine-tuned for particular types of GPUs, uh, specially trained and specially fine-tuned for the A100 or the H100 or the L40S, for example, or others. And there is also openness to third-party models, Llama 2 or Llama 3 now, for example, or 
other models like Falcon that you may want to use. So we want to give you choice at this level to choose the model that you feel you want to bring down on premises, run it on top of NIM, run that NIM in a deep learning VM on top of VMware Cloud Foundation, and use all the tools in the NVIDIA AI enterprise to either fine tune or retrieve and augment uh, your model with a database, a vector database. So this really unlocks Gen AI for, for you, th this combination. This is a very powerful combination of, of things. And uh, without further ado, let me get into a demo of this so that you can see actually what's going on here. So I'll take over the screen now if I can. Uh, yeah, go a bit sure. And uh, share my screen. And here, I'm going to show you a pre-recorded demo because uh, certain parts of this will take a few moments to complete. Uh, but starting from the application itself, uh, we see uh, we're asking a chatbot a question here. We're asking, what is Llama Index? And the application doesn't know uh, what, what the answer is. So we switch on our vector database, our knowledge base, and ask the same question again. What is Llama Index? Which you, you folks probably know, but is relatively new could be private information in some cases. And you can see we get a lot better answer the second time around when the vector database is switched on. And the reason for that is because in the knowledge base, the vector database hidden behind the scenes here operating with the model, we loaded uh, new data about that particular subject into the database ahead of time. And so our model now looks intelligent about a subject that it wasn't trained on. And that data, is stored in a vector database, which we're going to see, uh, but it's private. It's private data. So how do we deploy this? Now we're inside the ARIA automation tool within VMware Cloud Foundation, and we can see two very attractive tiles here. AI workstation, we're going to choose to deploy here. We give it a name. This is going to deploy the full application that you saw uh, me demoing just now. And the main choice I'm making is how much GPU power do I have to use here? And these are preset GPU profiles that you can choose from and data profiles that you can choose from preset by the system administrator. You can construct these and load them into ARIA automation for you to do this. And we've set a password here on the typical user and there are a whole bunch of different software packages we can choose to deploy here. We're going to choose to deploy the RAG or retrieval augmented generation package of software, package of containers and microservices. And what we need to do that is to supply an NGC API key to do it. So that's the end of the submission as far as an end user is concerned. Automation is now doing all the work for you of constructing all of that and loading all of that uh, required software package into your deep learning VM or more than one VM if you wanted it, uh, such that this will be ready for a person who wants to do uh, testing work or development work or data science work immediately when this finishes. And I speeded this up a little bit. Here's the end result. You get a link there under applications that you can link to get into your application and start working. Under the covers of this, in the infrastructure, we have a deep learning VM, DLVM here, and it has two GPUs uh, supporting it. No reason you couldn't use multiple GPUs here if you wanted to. You can see that on the right-hand side there. These are two grid A140C GPUs attached to that deep learning VM that was automatically created for you as a data scientist or an end user, or maybe a VI admin. And VI admins, VMware admins are very familiar with using images to create virtual machines out of a content library. This is the content library set up here for the automation to use. And we could clone this VM. Cloning a VM is a very common thing uh, uh, from a template in VMware. You could do this if you didn't want to use the automation technology that we just showed you. So looking inside this VM, we see a bunch of containers, a bunch of microservices. And one of them is the Nemo inference microservice. The other is the retriever microservice. These were the two that you saw earlier uh, uh, in our diagram, and we'll come back to those in a little bit. Uh, lastly, there's the PG vector and another controller microservice there. Now, those were downloaded from the NGC, from the NVIDIA NGC, but once they're downloaded, I'm going to place them into a private repository based on Harbor here with my own private AI label on them. So they become private containers. And then I want to deploy a vector database. Well, 
VMware has a tool for that data services manager such that I can choose uh, to deploy as many Postgres as I want to and put the extension for PG Vector on top of that to give me a vector database such that the embedding uh, model that you see in the top right hand side will use that for the data loaded into the database and the data being retrieved when I do a query on it. So that the overall architecture then is this Ubuntu 2204 virtual machine with the two main containers, the retriever container and the inference container already up and running, loaded with models here. One model for embeddings, one model for running Llama 2, which is our main model. And of course, PG Vector is running as a container here, talking to our enterprise data and getting the data from it. So this is all running in a VM, which was provisioned automatically. This could have been a Kubernetes cluster full of VMs, by the way, if you wanted to. Uh, and some very contemporary technology was used in here, like Langchain for orchestration, Llama Index for talking to data sources, all front-ended by a web uh, UI that you saw, the LLM playground that I used at the beginning, and all accessible using uh, a Jupyter notebook, which uh, which can itself be run in the container. And that Jupyter Notebook can talk to the NVIDIA inference microservice using OpenAI compatible APIs if you want to. So if you've already built applications like this using OpenAI's APIs for public cloud use, for use of public cloud models, you could port that application directly onto this uh, NVIDIA inference microservice here because it understands those OpenAI APIs. That's a very powerful story for you if you're considering moving an application onto VMware Cloud Foundation in-house. Uh, VMware Cloud Foundation, as you may know, consists of core vSphere, vSAN, NSX, and importantly for this type of application, virtual GPU technology that allows you to add one or more GPUs or a share of a GPU to your VMs that you see here. And that's exactly what I did with this uh, Ubuntu 2204 virtual machine. Just in, in the interest of time, can we just summarize this so we can... Um, like yeah, finish? so the summary here then is that VMware Cloud Foundation helped you by deploying this in the easiest possible fashion. The, the main choice that the data scientist or user had to make was how much GPU and which software application or developer application do I want to use? All the rest was automated for you. And uh, that's a very important part of VMware Private AI Foundation because that eases your way into using uh, VMware Cloud Foundation for, for important applications like RAG applications in the Gen AI world. Super. Now let's shift over back to the, back to the and finish up in about a minute or so. Uh, so you talked a lot about, you know, some really good stuff about the deep learning VM templates, vector databases, catalogs, uh, 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 the catalog set of Blizzard, et cetera. Now in about, in very short, in short order, can you just in about 30 seconds or explain GPU monitoring? Uh, for sure, Chobit, yeah. that That's a very important point because uh, we're going to be using powerful and rather expensive GPUs here, and we want to be sure we understand what they're doing. So if you move to the dashboard in the next slide, please. Um, yeah, we're producing in ARIA operations now, another part of VMware Cloud Foundation, very smart dashboards that show you temperature, memory usage, and GPU utilization uh, for particular GPUs or in the case of memory and compute, across all of the GPUs that are in all of your hosts on clusters. So this is a important dashboard for you to be able to see what's going on. Uh, red on the right-hand side means underutilized, by the way. If you had red in the temperature on the left-hand side, that would indicate overheating. And you can see from the bar graph chart on the bottom there that we can trace the exact GPU that you're looking at through the entire topology from virtual center down to a particular cluster, down to a particular host, down to a particular GPU. You can drill down on these charts to see exactly what's going on with a particular GPU on a particular host. So this is a very powerful view across your entire vGPU estate, if you like, 
getting easy visibility of your GPU consumption or lack thereof, if you're interested in that, so that you can do capacity planning and bringing a new workload onto this set of servers. Very powerful dashboards here. This is what just one example of the types of dashboards you'll be getting with uh, VMware Private AI Foundation with NVIDIA. And lastly, PowerSail AI scripts, what do these do? So you saw me automating quite a lot there using ARIA automation, but that's not the only thing we automate. We, we also have uh, Power CLI, which is a, a very well-known tool in the VMware world for setting up environments. Uh, it can do lots of things with VMs, with hosts, et cetera. And this is a set of example Power CLI scripts that now ship with VMware Private AI Foundation with NVIDIA, and they do creation of the infrastructure for you. The workload domain is a concept in VMware Cloud Foundation. That's a prerequisite that you set. we set that up. We set up ESXi with the right host drivers, for example, using a power CLI script. Setting up NSX, which is uh, clustering uh, networking technology, and it's got the concept of edge clusters, that will get set up for you. And finally, the supervisor cluster, the Tanzu integration closely into vSphere, that's, that's set up for you. now. You must edit these Power CLI scripts to do this with your own IP addresses, your own domain names, et cetera. But that's a rather simpler task than doing this manually. Power CLI does all of that work for you as a prerequisite to using the tools that I showed you earlier. So very good for getting started on VMware Private AI Foundation with NVIDIA. Power Fantastic. CLI. Fantastic. Thank you, Justin. The demo, the slides, et cetera. Phenomenal, the stuff that you presented. Really, really happy uh, that you had some time to be able to prepare this. Uh, and with that, we're coming to a close. I want to take a moment and just thank you, Justin, so much for spending time with me today. Thank you for having me, Shobhit. A pleasure to talk to you about this. Thank you. Wonderful. And with that, we're coming to a close to the close of this episode. Uh, goodbye. Good evening. Uh, uh, goodbye to all the uh, phenomenal audience. Uh, if you like this one, please listen to the next one. Uh, until then, goodbye.